Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, for allowing me to participate of general uh, budget discussion. First of all, I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister for presenting a people-friendly budget, and I believe in his able leadership. Our state will keep on positive, evolving from one level to another. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I have some point to submit regarding the British Department. Farmers are the backbone of our beloved state. And we remember during election campaign also, many candidates used this phrase. I quote in Khasi, Unongrep Uday Budlom Jongari Bad Gajak Penre. In English, sir, farmers are the backbone of our beloved state. The farmer across the states needs to be supported strongly. We don't have exact number of farmers that are recognized and registered by the state government. We do not know how much assistance has been given to the farmers in the past one year. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, we want to know the targeted numbers of farmers and will get benefits through this budget. What kind of support will the state government be given to the farmers during this year and how will improve the production and the price? Broomstick, after we have recognized broomstick as agriculture produce, the price increased tremendously during the past few years. Better price have helped our farmers. Sadly, this last one, two years, the price have dropped to rupees 50,000 per ton. That is, which is 50 rupees per kg. How can we help the broomstick farmers since there is a large number of broomstick, broomstick farmers in our state? We need to extend to help to our broomstick farmers so that we can protect the livelihood. Sir, today in the question hours also, I have raised regarding this broomstick, but it didn't come, in which the reply I've seen here, in C, we can see that the processing that is planned only for 75 MT. So the surplus production will keep affecting the farmers. Is there any other way that the Gulf can prevent the low price of broomstick? Coming to disaster management. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I've received complaint that the amount that is to be paid to household that were ruined by fire and affected by rainstorm during the year 2022 and 23 under Mauken Row CNRD block. The payment has been pending for many months. Even though the amount will be small, it will be a great help to affected families. I request the Honorable Chief Minister to kindly look into this long pending matter. Coming to rural development, under rural development, we are seeing the budget allocation for MG and NREGA has dropped to a new low of 600 crores. Why has the budget allocation dropped from more than 1,000 crores to current RS rupees 600 crores? The people are losing out. We are going to den deny employment to the people. It is also learned that the government has enforced Aadhaar upon the job card holders. This is going against the interest of our citizens who are scared of other enrollment. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I have come across the people in my constituency who are afraid of other enrollment. Therefore, I would like to request the government to take up awareness programs and regarding this matter. Coming to reckless driving case, in Shillong, we have witnessed many rash driving cases. Recently, a lady lost her life to a scooter 
who was driving very fast. A schoolboy met with an accident in Don Bosco Point due to the fast driving bike. What arrangement can be done to prevent rush and reckless driving? People are in danger even when they cross the road. We need to take serious action and ensure that the culprit lost the driving license are booked as per law. Honourable Member, please. About, about to be complete, sir. Sir, I, I will come to very important issue, vital and very sensitive, sensitive sir. This Mukro issue, sir, it's uh, nearly two years since the firing incident happened in Mukro. I thank the government for the composition paid to the Viri family. But, Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, the check gate of Assam Forest Department is still there in Mukro. Is the government taking any steps to remove the forest check gate of Assam, which fall under the jurisdiction of Mekhalia? We need to give hope to our people and ensure that this check gate is removed at the earliest. So, before I complete, I just want to coming to the sports, which is coming in Shillong in the news of Nong San Hima on the 7th of this month. La Bansha Pundu no Kiskim Shna Madan Bam Shimkia Kinong Mikmat Bat Gibor Badikmi Pratli Ki Project Siang Plang Plastic Kawai Ka Athletic Track. Sir, there is uh, some good project which we already please, submitted to the please, government please of, please of, please in, of India on the Kilo India, but I request the government of a day and the leadership of our Honourable Chief Minister to take up this eight field which we already submitted last few years back in 2022. Yeah, it's okay. for the need of ours, for the youth and the people loving of sports. Lastly, before I receive my seat, I would like to thank the Honourable Chief Minister and his government for sanctioning where is fun for the development in my constituency, which has really been a great help for the people of my constituency. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. thank Kastan. you. So may I request another member, Sri Brening Sangma, to take the floor. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, I also rise to speak a few words in the budget speech, which was presented by the Honorable Chief Minister in charge finance. I have already announced. If we look at the budget speech, it is IRMA, each and every department of the government, which will be implemented during the 2024-25, which have been never happened like this. So I hope the, during 24-25 financial year, many developments will be taking place in our state, throughout the state. So uh, since there is limited time, I will straight come to the point which is related to my constituency. Number one, in last term, we, uh, the government get already created a new civil subdivision at Tallu. I thank you to the Chief Minister and the entire team for seasoning to establish new civil subdivision at Tallu. But still, there are many things to be that infrastructure number one office building staff quarters approach road and many categories of the staff to be created for the newly created civil subdivision to make it functional number two health sector sir 
hadet pete hospital ya talu was long pending demand why the people of tidal but it could not be materialized i hope under the able leadership of chief minister during this term it may be materialized to say so and is a list under the hospital at talu then there are many villages located in far flung area from the hospital or distant from the hospital those villages are number 1 talangri where health and wellness center should be set up number 2 songjelpara village number 3 gurwapara village number 4 kilapara village in other villages also there are many yet to get such uh, medical facilities so may i request the government to you sir kindly look into this matter and um, take necessary steps to a court decision for the setting up of the health and wellness center in around my constituency then next pwd oh <laughs> PWD, <clears throat> I thank you to the last time to the minister in charge and chief minister. We have received a number of sanction and already constructed, but yet still there are some other roads to be constructed. Those roads are uh, number one. There is uh, extension of. National Highway Road to Duryapara, two kilometers. Then, from Dalu Purakhasi Road to Machumpara uh, uh, Bengka via Machumpara, about two kilometers. Then, uh, National Highway PWD Kerapara Road to Sungjalpara. about 3 kilometers then other roads are also needed for reconstruction and metallic black coffee so i have already uh, projected and submitted my letter to the department i think minister will look into it then i coming to another education department there Number, is one higher se- secondary school at machampani which is running by the committee without government grants so i will ask for the government kindly to uh, this matter and give grant for running the higher secondary school where most of the poor students are studying in that school so uh, please there are me. many points but uh, since there is uh, limited time so again uh, one point i just would like to ask the community hall which you already reflected in the budget to my area like uh, josipara ringsipara village and karongri village multi purpose community hall may be constructed so since there is no time so uh, with this few words i resume my seat thank you thank sir. you now may i request and our member gabriel walan to take the floor please stick to the time allotted to you ah uh, thank you mr deputy speaker sir i will not take maybe less than 5 minutes 11 minutes will not be possible so can so, you stick i have seen the budgets regarding the urban transformations i am very pleased because i I am representing from a constituency which is a growing urban. 
in the urban sector, so especially in Nongstrain and the rest of the place which have been, and what is important is the housing for the poor. It is very important, sir. And as we are growing the urban, proper sanitations and the drainage systems, which most of the urban town are not being properly constructed. This is a matter of great concern for any urban growing city. The drainage system should be a proper. I wish the government of the day to take note and see that the drainage system are properly in place. They improve the waste management. This has become a threat and sometimes it's very, very challenging for most of the urban sector, urban towns that are regarding the waste management. And in Nongstoin, the parking place, I've seen not only Nongstoin, in most of the urban center, the parking place for the vehicle are not there. We have so much of the government land, but uh, it has not been utilized. So if the government can give a land for a parking place in the urban area, that would be great help in the traffic congestions. The up-to-date auditoriums and shopping complex. So in the tourism sector, I'm pleased to see that as it appeared in the budget, that Longstone also had been included as a tourism amenities. So I would like to thank the government for including Longstone as one of the place, a center for ecotourism. I'm happy that the government is uh, promoting homestay in most of the area. But when you are promoting, promoting homestay, also promote a proper road connectivity and also an approach road to the tourist spot. We have, a, we have a tourist spot, but there is no approach road to the tourist spot. So it is great and hurdles and hardship for the people to travel in that area. And this may cause the defect in the tourism. West Castle, sir, have plenty of such areas which still remain untapped till today with beautiful scenery, beautiful landscapes, and beautiful waterfalls. So in sports, I should thank uh, Honorable Chief Minister that uh, in the West Castle, first time I think in Motion Road area, they have given an artificial turf. <coughs> and also, Nongstoin is the district headquarters. I urge the government of the day that if it can be considered the art shelter at Nongstoin being the district headquarters, not only that, but as a sporting center in most of the district, not only Nongstoin, but in most of the district, so that this Meghalaya game could be transferred from one, one district to another district, not only considering only Shillong or Tura or Jawai in specific area, but can be done in a different district so that we can promote sport even in that particular uh, district. In road sector, sir, Nongstoin is maybe a headquarter, but if you go just five kilometers five kilometer from the main Nongstoin town, maximum of the road are still Kacha Road. So I urge the government, there are plenty of villages that still not been, do not have a proper road, like, like Plang, Wajan Rio, no cloud to Wajan Rio, connect to Umdolun, then also no Kenyang, the road with a loop from Lumpangat to that connects to Maukanbat, Maulang Niang, and there are many more, sir. A few of these can be considered and looked into by the government of the day. That would be a great help for the people of Nongstein. And in the education sector, what we see is the, the, try to wind up. the we need is an infrastructure. A good infrastructure is required in all the government schools. With this few submissions, sir, thank you very much. I resume my seat. Thank you very much.